All right, so here's a burn matchup. Um, don't remember if I kept this. Our opponent's hand is pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, mulligan. And mulligan again. And this time I think I keep because I have a, uh, a natural lock. Can't remember what I scried. Yeah, picks us to the bottom. Already have two mill rocks. So here we go. And they get to go first, so here comes the guide. Okay, here comes some damage. There's a whir. So I could play the lantern first. Instead, I choose to play the uh, shredder because that way I can use it in combination with my, with my opponent's guide to dig myself into more mana. And it's an opal, close enough, so I'll keep it. We get the lantern, and they do a basic planes, which is interesting. But and double lock, so now I should be able to keep myself off a little damage. And if I can get a third source, I can get a bridge for that guide. Yeah, that's not a blue source. That is. So go get the uh, bridge. Now I figure they uh, haven't done a whole lot of damage to me. So I'm thinking that they probably don't have a whole lot of damage in their hand or else they would have played most of it. And uh, there's a helix on top, so I'm thinking I should be able to live through this. So, um, yeah. And again, I'm thinking that I should be able to live through the Rift Bolt. I'm not sure what to name with uh, Needle yet, so I don't play it yet. And uh, I'm at the Precarious 2. Now, I really want that Witchbane Orb, but if I draw it, I will lose. So I go to solidify the lock, empty my hand. Yeah. Uh, when I named this, I looked at their uh, graveyard and I see they already popped two Myers. I figured next best is they probably run around three to four Arid Mesas and I'll name that. And unfortunately, I didn't think about wooded foothills. But uh, I'm going to keep this collective brutality. Hey, booger. Aww. He's purring. And I'm going to go ahead and gain some life to try to get myself out of any burn range. So in case... Oh, wait. No, I don't. I don't gain life. I go to duress. Which I should have known. They don't have burn or else I'd be dead. So, yeah, things are good. Uh, at this point, now I can sack my Shredder, get back uh, Witchbane. And I'm good. Opponent concedes. Uh, game two. One lane hand. Mm. Uh, they have a pretty good hand. Yeah, I take a mole. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I guess one land into one land. And I keep it on top. Let's see what it was. I can't remember. Oh, brutality. That'll do it. <laughs> so I just need a land, and that would be super fine. So I go to draw an extra card during their turn. Because I want to be able to draw an extra land through Goblin Guide if I can. So now I can go Brutality. And I only choose two modes here, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, zombies. Dirt. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I only choose two modes. Kill that and discard. Because I want to keep the rest of this just in case. Uh, 
Unfortunately, I cannot make them discard Swift Spears, but Yeah, so now I just need a third land if I can do it. I'm just not seeing a third land uh, Again uh, So this I'm gonna kill one and gain some life and hope to get a third land. But I'm still not seeing a third land. Still no third land. I'm thinking, and at this point, I'm thinking, like, if I could just get a third land, I'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll put me at two. Yeah. I go to shuffle to try to get my third land. I do not. So. Uh, it was probably correct to shuffle a turn sooner, but whatever. All right. I keep, even though I don't have a ley line. But I do have some discard, and I have the wear for what I need. I'm going to start ranks. Uh, opponent kept with that revelry. I'm going to get rid of that thing. They draw another bolt, so they got nine damage in hand. Uh, I save the brutality because if they draw an idol on, <clears throat> strings, uh, yeah, yeah, grab that. That way, if they do somehow destroy my artifact, I still have that, and. If I top deck an artifact, I can go ahead and play. Um, I can either whir for something that I need, or I should be able to play a ley line if I draw it, if I top deck another artifact. So, bunch of damage. Lands. <laughs> so go to the stirrings now to try to get that artifact. Now they haven't played a creature. And I don't want them to have Shattering Spree. <laughs> So let's know that. In response, they shuffle it to save it. Smart. And there's three damage on top, but I'm still okay. Um, go ahead and drain some life and uh, take a look at their hand. See what's going on. I figure if they have burn spells, they can't play both of them unless they're, I mean, I'm pretty sure they already played a bunch of bolts, yeah. So I figure I'll be able to nab one of the burn spells if both of them are burn spells, but they are not. So another Brutality on top. I do not need to use my word yet and on their turn or whatever. So I do now go ahead and grab that bridge. Brutality for some more life drain. You can build up a little buffer and I'll let them have that wrath. It's five damage, but whatever. Because if I try to mill, then they can try to shuffle and get something good, and I'll be screwed. So, go ahead and mill. Now I have to mill. You know, welding jar is not bad. They go to shuffle to try to mix things up. They get another creature. Now I got a two rock lock. I'm gonna be good. So what I want to do now is I'm going to word during their upkeep for a uh, Witchbane Orb. <clears throat> and the reason why is to force them to try to Helix me in response. That'll tap out their mana uh, so they can't do a whole lot else. Uh, it'll tighten up their mana a little bit. And that bolt is going to be dead. In response, instead, they decide to do it during my end step, and I'm like, okay, in response, now I'll wear for a Witch Bane Orb. I get it, and they concede. Right. So, brutality went a long way there. <clears throat> 